Before we begin looking at Khan Academy's volumes of cone cyl cylinders and spheres, let's take a quick look at the formulas first. Um, first of all, um, Google is a fantastic resource for this. It even gives you a little bit of a calculator for that. The calculator is not going to be useful for you on Khan Academy because this calculator will give you an approximation calculating pi as, um, as some uh, decimal expansion of 3.14159, blah, blah, blah. Um, in our cases in Khan Academy, you will note that when you click on the solution box, it will ask you to enter the solution as a multiple of pi. So using the formulas are essential. So uh, first of all, let's take a look at the volume for a right cylinder. Um, as you might be able to see, this is really just uh, um, an expansion of the area of a circle. If we look at the area of a circle and we multiply it times the height, that gives you the volume of a cylinder. And you can actually see the formula for an area of a circle right there in the formula for the uh, volume of a cylinder. Now let's take a look at the, uh, the formula for the volume of a cone. Um, again, what you can see here is you see the um, formula for a circle right in here. Um, and in this case, it is multiplied by the height and divided by three. So it turns out that there are three identical cones with the same radius um, and the same height as a cylinder inside that cylinder. Very interesting. The third one we will look at is the volume of a sphere. And of course, a sphere has the radius um, going out in all three, dimension, in all three dimensions. Um, so we don't have a height here at all. Um, what we have is we have um, 4 over 3 times pi times r cubed. A very interesting question that actually comes up in Khan Academy um, that you may, not, uh, you may not intuitively notice. Um, but you can actually play around with these, with these formulas. Um, and you will, if you play around with them, and this is something I encourage you to do in your own time, if you take half of this sphere, okay, and we say that the radius is r. So just take half of the sphere with radius r. If you do so, then that will, of course, be 2 over 3 pi r cubed. Um, and you take um, the volume, you take the volume of a cone, which has a height of r and a radius of r. Um, that, of course, is going to give you um, one third, and you add that one third pi, and of course. Um, that would be r squared times r for the, for the height as well. And what you will notice is if you also take the cylinder, and you take the cylinder with a radius r and a height of r, that of course is pi r squared h, so pi r squared times the height which in this case, h is equal to r, so that's going to be r cubed. One very interesting thing is that if our height is the same as the radius, then a hemisphere plus a cone is equal to a cylinder. A very interesting topic there that will actually come up in a question on Khan Academy if you look out for it. Now let's deal with the questions on Khan Academy. Um, the, the first thing, obviously, these are all word problems. You need to be very careful when you're reading them and when you're uh, extracting all the information from them. So um, in this particular case, we're looking at a hemisphere. So it is, of course, a hemisphere. The volume of a sphere, let's just remind ourselves, the volume of a sphere is equal to 4 over 3 pi r cubed. So with the volume of a sphere being 4 over 3 pi r cubed, if we're looking for a hemisphere, which is half of a sphere, um, so the volume of a hemisphere is, of course, going to be equal to 2 over 3 pi r cubed. So that's what we're looking at when it comes to the volume of a hemisphere, first of all. Okay, so... Um, 
In this particular case, we're told that um, the, this piece of plastic in the shape of a hemisphere, um, uh, that a machine takes it and carves a cone out of it. The hemisphere and the cone each have a radius of two centimeters and the cone has a height of two centimeters. This is very interesting, of course, because it's something that we talked about just a moment ago. Um, what we notice is we, ha we also have to deal with a cone, so the, the volume of a cone is one-third pi r squared h. All right? In this particular instance, we notice that the radius and the height are the same. So we could actually say this is one. This is equal to pi. Uh, pi this is equal to one third pi r cubed. Um, we'll deal with that when we're actually um, when we're actually looking at it. Okay. So what is the volume of the remaining plastic solid in cubic centimeters? So just to remind ourselves, the piece of plastic is in the shape of a hemisphere. We're carving a cone out of it. The remaining portion is what we're looking for. Um, and very interesting this is, really, because um, we, we don't actually need all that much information out of it. Um, because we can see the volume of a cone, the volume of a hemisphere, one is twice the size of the other. Because the volume of the cone, let's, let's take the volume of the cone, is equal to one third times pi times r, which is two squared times h, which is two. So that is equal to two. Two squared is four times two is eight. So that's eight over three pi. So that's the volume of the cone, and we're extracting that from the volume of the hemisphere. Well, let's take a look at the volume of the hemisphere. So the volume of the hemisphere, of course, is two-thirds pi r cubed. And r, r, of course, is two. So two cubed, in this case, of course, is eight. So that is equal to eight. So two cubed is eight times two. It, it, times the two in the numerator is, of course, 16. So we've got 16 over three pi. And very interesting, when we take 16 over three pi minus 8 over 3 pi, we are left with 8 over 3 pi. And this is something, of course, that is, that is very interesting and something that refers back to what we were talking about just a moment ago. When we add up, um, when we have the radius and the height of a, of a cone being exactly the same, and that being the radius also of a hemisphere, if we add the two up, we actually end up getting a cylinder. So one is, one is half of the size of the other. And just take a note, look there. Um, it, it, Khan Academy is telling, me, telling you that your answer should be, like a multiple, should be a multiple of pi. In this particular case, we're going to put in eight over three pi. A little bit more interesting now when we, we, we take a look at this where we have, uh, we have no images to guide us along the way. All we have is, a, uh, all we have is the word. So we do need to read it carefully and, and take note of it. We have a ball of clay with a radius of two centimeters. This is the first thing I'm going to look at. A ball of clay with a radius of two centimeters. That tells me it's a sphere. I'm going to say volume of the sphere is equal to 4 over 3 pi r cubed. And in this particular case, that is, of course, um, I've got my radius of, of two centimeters here. So this person, Marion, uh, reforms the clay into a cylinder of radius three centimeters. So my cylinder, so the volume of a cylinder is equal to pi r squared h. And of course, what I notice here is I'm being asked for the height of that cylinder. What is the height of that cylinder to the nearest tenth? So um, I, what I need to do is I first need to solve the volume of this sphere. Because if I can find the volume of this sphere, I can say that that is equal to the volume of the cylinder and solve for h. So let's take a look at the volume of the sphere. So the volume of the sphere, um, 
the volume of the sphere is equal to 4 thirds pi r cubed, and r is 2, so 2 cubed. All right? So that's going to give me um, 2 cubed is 8, and 8 times 4 is 32. So I've got 32 over 3 pi cubic centimeters. And that is equal to the volume of my cylinder. And the volume of my cylinder is pi times r squared. And, and the radius of my cylinder, of course, is 3 centimeters. So 3 centimeters squared um, is my radius times h. I do not know what h is. So I'm going to say that, that, is, that, they, that they there are equal. I'm going to um, move this down here as well so that I can read it a little bit easier. So the first thing that I know is pi is on both sides, which means that I can divide both sides by pi. So I'm going to divide both sides by pi just so that I can um, get rid of that irrational variable. So pi is cancelled out. So I do have 3, Q, three squared, which is 9, h is equal to 32 over 3. Well, let me divide both sides by 9. And that is so that I can cancel out the 9s on this side. And I have h is equal to 32 over 3 divided by 9. Well, that is easier, of course. Let me bring this over here. That is easier to write as 32 over 3 multiplied by 1 ninth, which is equal to 32 twenty sevenths. So that's what it's telling me. My height there should be 32 twenty sevenths centimeters.